Now we're ready to divide numbers that are given in scientific notation. Let's see how we should do this by looking at a simple example. Let's say we want to divide 6 times 10 to the fifth by 2 times 10 to the third. What does this look like? In order to understand this better, I'm going to write it understanding this division sign as creating a fraction. That is, I'm going to write it using a fraction bar to indicate division. Why did I want to do that? I wanted to do that because that's going to allow me to separate the significance from the orders of magnitude. The way I'm going to separate them is like this. I'm going to have my 6 over 2 and that's multiplied by 10 to the fifth over 10 to the third. Why can I do that? Well, remember when I multiply fractions, I multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So if I went this way, this would just be multiplying fractions. But equal signs work both ways. So if I can go from the expression on the right to the expression on the left, I can also go from the expression on the left to the expression on the right. What's good about the expression on the right? Well, I know how to do that arithmetic, right? 6 divided by 2, that's 3. 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the 3rd, that's 10 to the 5 minus 3. So this is just 3 times 10 to the 2nd. Let's make sure that that really worked before we write down the rules. 6 times 10 to the 5th, that's just 6 followed by 5 zeros. So 600,000 divided by 2 times 10 to the 3rd, that's 2,000. And I'm claiming that that gives me 300. That seems reasonable. Let's check with the calculator. I'm going to take 600,000 divided by 2,000, and that really does give me 300. In scientific notation mode, 6 times 10 to the fifth divided by 2 times 10 to the third is 3 times 10 to the second. Okay, so what's our process? What are the rules here? Well, first we divide the significance, and I'm going to add an instruction that we haven't really seen before in one of these procedures, but it's pretty clear why we need it for division. If we need to round, we're going to round according to significant digits. Right, we're not just going to round to whatever place we feel like, we're going to round to whatever place the significant digits tell us we ought to round to. Right. Okay, so we'll round according to significant digits, and that's going to give us our new significant. To get our new magnitude, we'll just subtract the magnitudes. And then finally, if we need to, we'll fix the scientific notation. All right, okay. Let's see an example where we need to fix the scientific notation. And then we'll see an example where we really need to round. Okay, so let's take as an example 4.8 times 10 to the negative fifth divided by 6 times 10 to the negative twelfth. So first I'm going to divide the significance. Right, 6 goes into 4.8. Copy the decimal point. 6 goes into 48 eight times. Nothing left. So we'll just have 0 0.8 times 10 to the 
Well, negative 9 minus negative 12, uh, that's going to be positive 3, right? So that's 0 0.8 times 10 to the third. Fix the scientific notation. 0 0.8 is 8 times 10 to the negative 1. So this is 8 times 10 to the negative 1 times 10 to the third. So 8 times 10 to the 2. Let's confirm that on the calculator, making sure I'm still in scientific notation mode. I want to take 4.8 times 10 to the negative ninth divided by 6 times 10 to the negative twelfth. And I do indeed get 8 times 10 to the 2. Okay, let's see an example in which we, we really need to round. Let's say we have 8.07 times 10 to the third divided by 9.042 times 10 to the 29th. Well, we'll have 8.07 divided by 9.042 times 10 to the 3 minus 29. Okay, so I'm going to put my calculator back in normal mode. And I'm going to take that 8.07 divided by 9.042, and I get some horribly unpleasant decimal. All right. I definitely want to round that. The only question is where. Looking at these numbers, this one has three significant digits, and this one has four significant digits. So which one's smaller? Well, three. I'm going to round to have three significant digits. Looking at the calculator, I want the 8 and the 9, and then the third significant digit is the 2. The following digit is a 5, so I'm going to round up. So I'll have 0.893 times, OK, what power of 10 do I have? 3 minus 29 is negative 26. OK, finally, I have to fix my scientific notation, right? 0 0.893 is 8.93 times 10 to the negative 1. So this is 8.93 times 10 to the negative 1 times 10 to the negative 26. So 8.93 times 10 to the negative 27. OK, and that's really all there is to it. Just remember, if you have to round, round according to the significant digits.